We are joined by Chayel, Anthony, and Chris, three amazing students who helped create the magazine Past the Spatula, which celebrates chefs of color. It is fantastic. And their cookbook club pick for today is Questlove's Mixtape Potluck. And here to make a recipe from the book is James Beard, award-winning chef, author, and executive producer of Food and Wine magazine. Oh my God, someone, I'm so excited. <laughs> Kwame Onwachi! So good to see you, so good to see you. So I've just see. been one of your biggest fans for so long. I've been one of your biggest fans, probably longer. Probably longer, <laughs> seriously. I've like never missed a frame of Top Chef and I'm so excited that you are a judge. Well, it's going down this season, all right? It's Portland's going down. Portland's a great city. It's a great city and it meant so much for the city, especially right now, right? We're going through tough times to bring some life to the city, show the amazing culinary space and celebrate diversity within Top Chef. Like, you know, I think that was a really, really important thing. I am so excited because Potluck is really at the heart of what I wanted Cookbook Club to be about, which is let's make something together. Yeah. Now, potluck is like, that is a diverse way to eat food and it makes people comfortable because then they can cook what really speaks to them and they're confident about, or just wanna try. Yeah, and they can bring their own culture to the table, exactly. you know? So this book, it has so much diversity, so much flavor, so much personality. That's what potluck parties are about, right? It's about getting together and, and showing that. Okay, so what are we making today, Kwame, from Mixtape Potluck? So for the Mixtape Potluck, I can't have a dish without rice, you know? My family's from Nigeria, they're from uh, Louisiana, which is like, you know, the, the rice capital of America. Uh, they're from the Caribbean. So we always have rice at our potlucks when we get together. And you'll see anything from rice and peas to jambalaya to jollof rice. Mm. And, you know, you can't talk about American cuisine without talking about West African cuisine. Really inspired it. So jambalaya is a derivative from jollof rice. So we're gonna get to the source today. Oh. We're also gonna make a little jerk lamb because I know you like lamb. So I threw and that I in love there for jerk. you. Well, then you'll love me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm doing a little gooseberry salad to brighten it up a little bit. I love gooseberries, too. Yeah. They're so bright and beautiful they're, and unique. I'm glad we're bringing it to the amazing. party today. And you know what I love? I love this blender. Oh, I, I made it. That's what it. I love. I can tell it's got a little style on it. Thank you. I'm excited to hear your thoughts on its performance, because at the end of the day, it can't just look pretty. It has to So function. let's get into it. Let's perform. OK. And we're making a red stew. So this is like a mother sauce of, um, of West African cuisine. So we're okay. gonna add some peppers, some garlic, some ginger, um, a little bit of curry powder. I'm gonna add the scotch bonnet sauce. Hey guys, how are you doing? Chime in, this is your platform too. The smell, you guys, in the studio is just, it's, it's aromatic, it's permeating, it's so beautiful. All right, here we go, Kwame, Get I'm Ray. excited to see what you think. Look at this, this is user friendly if I've ever seen. It. I just want it to work. That's that looks like it worked to me. That looked like it worked to me. So that's it, then you hit off. I was gonna ask Chayel if you had any questions since we're making a sauce that has some curry powder and I know you like a curry. I do. So maybe for someone who doesn't like a lot of spice, I know some curry powders do have a little bit of spice. Um, what would you say is kind of like an alternate alternative for like curry powder? Luckily for this sauce, it's such a small amount of curry powder. And this curry powder doesn't have any heat. It's more spice forward. So it's a lot of flavor. But like I said, it's such a small amount of curry powder that you're not really going to taste the curry, essentially. Chayelle and Anthony and Chris, I wish you could smell this sauce. I can't put it down. It's like my new favorite <laughs> culinary perfume. Yeah. It is unbelievable. I, I, it I, is. It's extraordinary, Kwame. It's so aromatic. And then when it cooks down, you know, you, you cook it in a little bit of oil. We've already added it to the pot, you know, skip some steps, but it dehydrates. So a lot of the uh, water comes out of this. The aromatics cook. It gets so much more intensely flavored. And that's when we're able to add it to our toasted rice here and make our signature jollof rice. Ooh. Yeah, it's hot, right? Hi, Yanni. <laughs> we gonna... have a question about tomatoes. Yeah. And then oh, I'm going to add my water. 
Yeah, uh, what's the best variety of tomatoes to use in this recipe? Okay, that is such a good question. You know, I like to use plum tomatoes. They're a little bit more consistent. Um, but whatever's in season, you know, I say that's, that's always my answer. Mm -hmm. Whatever's in season is the best thing to use. Mm -hmm. So I want to talk about this lamb for a second. Now you see all these ingredients here. All of this right here, you got the green onion, your ginger, your garlic, your scotch bonnet. We have some allspice, we have some clove, we have some cinnamon, um, some tamarind, thyme. It's beautiful. And then you blitz all that up and when you marinate the lamb, it's best to do it at least 24 hours. Then we're gonna sear the lamb and then cook it in the oven until your desired temperature. I'm salivating. That's, I'm looking at the dishes and I, it's I, just dripping. Will you show me how to plate this? I got because you. Because I need to take a bite. <laughs> so we have the jollof rice already. So I'm gonna just plate this on here. Do you have a tray? I, I don't, but I'm happy to just go like this also. Uh, like just that try it. totally, by the Eat way. It. Do it. <laughs> oh my God. Oh! It's got a little zing. Oh. It's got a little zing, a little spicy, doing a little dance, a oh shimmy. My God. That's called the jollof rice shimmy. Oh. You're doing it. It comes naturally. It comes naturally. No matter what you do, when you bite it, you do that. I can have shot. It's incredible. These gooseberries have just been marinating By a little way, bit of lime Anthony, juice. By the way, Anthony, Chris, and Chaya, will you please join the party with us and yeah. partake? I want to see some dancing on that side, too. Absolutely. Um, I have to say, this is some of the best rice I've ever had Aww. in my entire life, Kwame. I am blown away. That really means a lot to me. And it means a lot for my culture, you know? And for me to share it with you and for you to love it um, really makes my heart smile. So thank you. Um, Chayel, Anthony, Chris, what do you think? You're doing that dance. I'm doing, You're doing that, that dance. dance. You know? You're doing that dance. <laughs> Here, look, let me show you how to do it. You gotta do it like this. You gotta, you gotta let the shoulders go. We need to play some Afro beats because it just looks like we're like shooing someone away without I, some music right now. <laughs> well, I just want to tell you, I've been such a fan of yours for a really long time, I and I would it. love to do this with you again. Let's I'm so happy for you and your amazing career and all the incredible collaborations, whether it's with the Mixtape Potluck Cookbook or with the past, the Spatula family and Top Chef. Food and wine, <laughs> my goodness, Kwame, the list is endless. Thank you, I really appreciate you. Thank you for having me here. Um, this, this means the world to me, and I'm glad you like the rice. I'm glad you like the rice. <sighs> okay, is that okay that <laughs> I can pick it up? Thank you, Chef Kwame, Chayel, Anthony, and Chris. I love your magazine. I have had it on my desk for months on end, and I dreamt of getting to collaborate with you on this show because I love what you're doing. And um, be sure to watch Chef Kwame on Top Chef Thursdays at 8, 7 Central on Bravo. And then head to thepastthespatula.com for more information and to purchase a copy of the magazine. And don't forget to pick up a copy of Quest Love's Mixtape Mix Potluck to add to your cookbook collection. It's really one of a kind. And from, from, from my opinion, as a cookbook lover, it's kind of the one we've been waiting for. So thank you so much.